guys, Casey here, wanted to do a video on my 2003 Sea Ray Sundancer 260. I imagine there's a handful of people who've had this problem, or maybe you just want to do an upgrade, but we started noticing that we had water under our step. Down here. You pull up the rug, it'll be wet. You're wondering where the hell is this water coming from? Well, underneath your trash can, if you didn't know, there's what they call a shower sump box. And at least in our case, that drains the water from the shower and your AC condensate with those two lines down there coming in and then one going out to the right. Now this box is a Surefoil box that I got off Amazon and I'm going to be sending it back for several reasons which I'll go over in a little bit. This here is the old one. It's made by Rule. I believe this is the factory installed box. You've got your inlets here for your shower drain and your AC condensate. The strainer here for the water. I'm sorry, the hair. The pump that pumps it overboard out the side of the boat and the float switch. Um, I was running into a problem on this one to where these two fittings were cracked, um, being that this is, oh, 2003, what now, almost 20 years old. Uh, it was slowly dripping water out here and here, and I believe around here as well, and that was letting water puddle up in the bottom down there around the sump box. And it's hard to see, but eventually, if you're anchored somewhere and your boat's rocking up and down, that water will get up high enough and it will get to the carpet over here. And it'll seep through to the carpet right there and it'll soak your floor all around in there and it's just not a nice mess. And in our case, the water was a brownish color from, I don't know, dirt, rust stains, who knows what. But anyways, as you can see, it's stained the carpet. Eventually I'm gonna try and shampoo this out it's quite ugly so hopefully you get to it where you don't have that problem so I installed the SureFlow box and after about a half an hour or so of just being on the boat I started to notice that when it would run the pump would shut off after a while looking at it I realized that the integrated float switch in that box would come on like it was supposed to but it wouldn't shut off at the right level. It would try, the, the height, the way the water level is set with a float switch, it'll try and pump every last bit of water out before that float switch will shut off. And it just doesn't get there because it's starting to suck air and it's not a, a zero level pump, I guess, or it won't pump out every last drop of water. So kind of a design flaw if you ask me and it was you know just fighting itself so it would sit there and run for minutes sometimes and um, you know you can reach down in there and you can turn the little dial on the float switch and get it to stop but you know that's not ideal we like to leave our air conditioning on all the time when we're not at our boat we I'll crank the temperature up but we still like to leave it on to keep that humidity uh, out of our boat so that really wasn't going to work for me I didn't feel comfortable um, doing that and, and I don't want that pump to burn out prematurely and you know have a problem when we're not here on the boat so I Ordered it because it was cheap and I'm regretting that so Here we are. I'm sending that one back and I'll be installing a new one from rule This new unit from rule it looks like it'll do the job So I'm, I'm looking forward to getting this in and getting rid of the SureFlow one. I'll be sending it back I'm not even going to think twice about it. I emailed the company's tech support. Nobody ever got back to me. Um, you know, I was kind of tricked by the three-year warranty, but I know better now. I guess I'm going to going to have to spend the extra money. The rule one I actually got from Walmart. Uh, Walmart Direct, not a Walmart uh, third-party reseller. Uh, shockingly enough, they had the best price, and I got it within three or four days of ordering it. So um, looking forward to getting that installed. Mm -hmm. 